Hey guys, and welcome to yet another episode of... This is the part where the intro usually cuts in. the second time I'm filming this video because for some reason it cut out on me last time so let's we'll see if I can do it after making my early video about how to install Gridly on your iPhone I've had a lot of comments in the comments section about if there was a way to get Pokemon or a Game Boy Color or Game Boy Advance emulator on your iPhone and today I'm proud to say that I have finally found a way to get Game Boy Color games running on your iPhone without a jailbreak and this will work on any iOS firmware on any iOS device. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you want to do is open up this program that I used in an earlier video. I'll have a link down to it in the description if you guys missed that video. So once you open this video, this program, you want to go into the red text right up here. It's the only text up here that's lit up in red. You want to go to the search bar and once you go to the search bar, you want to search an app called Slider. S-L-I-D-E-R. This is an app that was actually in the App Store previously and got removed. So you'll find it right here. It's GBA, some kind of weird Chinese text, and Slider Puzzle. And you want to click this, I don't know if it's going to be, yeah, blue install button right here. And then it will go ahead and download. The download will start to appear right in this tab. I'm not going to download that right now because I already have it. So go ahead and cancel it. And then you go to the tab right below it, the thing that looks like a checkered box, and you'll find it right here. This button will, will not have a blue refresh button for you. It will have a green install button. So all you want to do is click that, and once it's done installing, we'll move on to our next step. One more thing I forgot to mention, guys. I mentioned this in, the, in an earlier video, but people are still having problems with this, so I thought I'd readdress it again. So if the, you open the app and you get something asking for your Apple user ID and password, you want to come back up to this red text right here and go over to this blue button. This should be an occurrence that only happens one time. So you click this blue button. It will install what it needs to install, fix what it needs to fix, and it will be good. You will not have this problem anymore. Now we still have an, a few other steps before we get this emulator up and running. So the next thing we want to do is download an application called iFunbox. I'll have a link to that down in the description as well. So you open up iFunbox once you have this installed on your phone. And you want to go into the Managing App Data tab. Wait till this loads up. You want to scroll down and find the app slider. It may not be right here. If it isn't, you just go to All My Apps and it will show all your apps you have downloaded. And you find slider and double click it. This will open up and this is where you put all of your things that you want to put in here. I'll have a link in the description to the GBA BIOS so you don't have to worry about that. You just pull the BIOS in the zip folder. It has to be in a zip folder or this won't work. You pull the BIOS right into here. You just copy it and that's good. I'll also have links in the description to a few Game Boy Color games. There's actually something you need to do to get this running though. When you first download the Game Boy Color game it will be in a .gbc format because naturally that's Game Boy Color to get it to read. What you want to do is you want to just right click on it and rename it and take off the C from the end so it's just Game Boy. It'll ask you if, you, if you're sure you want to change it and you just click yes. For some reason the emulator has a hard time reading Game Boy Color extensions. This, game, this GB won't change anything. It'll still be Game Boy Color. It just allows the emulator to actually read the game that you download. Now once you have it changed to .gb you want to just drag it right into here and it'll copy and then you should be good all your games that you want just put them right in here and they will be playable now this is a hidden emulator so there's another thing we have to do to actually get to the games to play them and I'll show you guys how to do that right here now since I don't have a camera to actually show you the screen of my phone as of right now I'm still working on getting one so that will be in future videos I took a couple screenshots to show you guys what's going on so when you open the app you'll get something that looks just like this it's a slider puzzle and what you do is you click on the little information icon right here, right there. When you click on it, it brings up something that looks like this. You want to tap the count, just the count right here. You want to tap that five times. 
When you tap that, it brings up a secret thing that says Ready Player One in a dark blue text. And you click that. When you click that, it'll bring up this hidden thing right here, which has all of your games that you downloaded. In my case, it's just all Pokemon. And once it brings that up, you guys are good. You will see the GBA bios right here. You don't have to worry about that. That's not going to hurt anything, mess with anything. And you just pick a game out, you click it, and you can play it. Now, it doesn't support landscape mode yet, which isn't ideal, but it works pretty good. Another thing that I have to tell you guys is this emulator does not support saving built into the emulator, which is a really big downside. One way that I do it, as long as you don't turn off your phone frequently, is just minimize the app. Just don't close out of it. When that you're playing the game, you just hit the home button, it minimizes it, and when you bring it back up, it actually resumes from the last place where you played, so it's pretty much like saving the game. Yes, it is a downside, but it's still it's still better than what regular people have right now, which is nothing at all. So that's about it, guys. You should have a fully working Game Boy Color emulator on your iPhone. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like the video. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions or just anything you want to say to me. And also subscribe for future videos. Now, I know I'm still new at this, and they will be getting better as we go along. So until next time, guys.